this youthful audience is going through this stage, which is sort of the self-discovery time. You know, your 20s, you're finding yourself, you're figuring out what you want to do, discovering your passions, and travel is really important in that whole process. So making it accessible without sacrificing good design or, you know, a cool bar and a place to hang out and a great social experience is really important to us. You know, that's what we value. Welcome to Miami Beach map with all the spots to hit up. This is a very famous beach. These are sort of all the amenities. Okay, some of our standard king. Nice little TV. Your boxer rope. I'm glad to wear one. <laughs> get your little Mendy kit. Kind of sort of like flying business class. You get your soap, all the things you need on a trip. Cool. So this is our shared quad room. Sleeps four. Uh, oftentimes we get kind of groups of friends booking it together. Sometimes strangers. Yeah. Called the Impossible Cool Room. We actually did this with uh, Impossible Cools. You got, a, you got a little reading lamp here. This protects you from playing footsie with your neighbor. So yeah, one of the things that kind of makes us different, I think, in Miami is Miami's gotten kind of there's a, a lot of more of the clubbier. Uh, Las Vegas kind of vibe, and this is a little more low-key, it's accessible, you know, there's no door policy, everybody's welcome. If some people don't necessarily want to share a room, but still want the overall experience, so we have private rooms for them, and then others who are cool with sharing with their friends or meeting new people, sharing with them. Yeah. I think that's really, it's been surprising and really interesting to see domestic travel within the U.S. embrace the idea of sharing rooms with strangers. Yeah. Shout about it.